here we go. <laughs> okay, so uh, welcome to Non-Sleep Deep Rest on Zoom, brought to you by Alembic. Um, and we're super happy to be hosting this class online now for the summer. And uh, I'll say a couple things about the Alembic, which is a practice space in Berkeley and now also on the internet. Um, we host uh, meditation classes, painting workshops, movement workshops, dance, um, and other events, live music, uh, panel discussions across all different practice traditions. And our aim for the container is to be a place where people who are practitioners of all sorts can meet and share what they know with one another. And so all of these communities can be learning from each other in this one space. Um, and very much in that spirit, we're delighted to be hosting Kelly uh, teaching non-sleep deep rest. I'll put a link to the Alembic uh, in the chat and you can go to that link to learn more uh, about us. And without further ado, let's get started. Hi, Kelly. Hi, great, thank you. So it's lovely to be here with you all. And I'm just yeah, really, really happy to be able to offer this practice this evening and non-sleep deep rest and have been teaching at the Olympic in person and now glad to stay online through the summer because I am in a different location. I'm currently Banff in Alberta, Canada. So um, yeah, so I know that in, in terms of the people in this in this particular Zoom room have practiced this before with me. And so what I'll likely do is give a little bit of description for those who are going to watch it in the future online and but also talk about the themes tonight, which came to me, which are rest and renewal. So um, I'm just going to do something real quick. OK, yeah, for me. Um, so if, if you'd like, while I'm doing a little bit of teaching, you can just lie down and get comfortable. If you'd like to stay seated and listening, and then I'll let you know when it's time to go into the non-sleep deep rest practice of yoga nidra. So I wanted to talk about rest and renewal through this lens of meditation. And the cool thing about non-sleep deep rest, and that's a term that was coined by Andrew Huberman, who's a neuroscientist out of Stanford, who was looking at the practice of yoga nidra and the practice of some of the hypnotherapy techniques and saw that there was a common phrase for it, non-sleep deep rest, where something happens in your body when you do these techniques that is deeply restful, yet you're kind of going in and out of waking consciousness. And so I have permission to be able to use that phrase for the work that we're doing here as it relates to yoga nidra. And yoga nidra is a lying down guided meditation practice that comes through the Kashmiri Shaivas tradition. And I trained um, extensively in this for many years. It's a practice that's so near and dear to my heart. I love it. And really love teaching it with the frame of rest and wanted to focus on that tonight. I think sometimes, you know, I would imagine that most of us need rest. And when we feel truly rested, it's, it's a gift, isn't it? Maybe you just woke up after having an amazing night's sleep or um, you have had time off work or whatever it is that you've been able to rest. And, and that's something significant happens in your body and mind. And welcome to the people that are coming in. Um, just feel free to um, settle in here. I'm going to do a little teaching and then, and then get into the practice. So in this practice, we're inviting those deep states of rest to we're, we're asking our body, you know, can, can you possibly inhabit a deeper form of rest right now? Sometimes we stop because we're tired and maybe just lie down for a minute or sit in a chair or sit outside, take a break. And it's not always restful because, you know, our minds can keep going on whatever it is that is concerning us or 
we're not inviting our body into these deeper states. And sometimes it can be nice to have a guided meditation that takes you through it so that you don't have to do anything. And that's part of what I love about this practice. So the first part of the practice tonight, we will focus on rest and on inviting that in, in a deep way, you know, all the way kind of to the cellular level of our body, whatever that is in your mind's eye. And the kind of rest that when you experience it, there's something that transforms you. And the, the second part and another really important part of meditation is meditative inquiry. And so we will also do that in this practice tonight where we're looking at exploring our inner experience, exploring our um, situational, relational, whatever dynamic experience that's in our life right now, but from a place of being rested. And so we know that um, if you learn something before you go to sleep, you know, your memory is kind of consolidated and you, you uh, retain the memory longer. So there's something neat about doing this practice where you're kind of coming in between waking and sleeping consciousness. You're both resting and you're inquiring and investigating into your experience. Something happens in your body, something um, that, that I can't say that I, I understand well, but something happens where you begin to be able to synthesize and make sense of your experience in a more integrated embodied way, especially if that's your intention. And especially if that's part of why you're here is both for rest and renewal and also for being able to gain insight and sort of integrate the disparate parts that may be in your life right now. And so we'll set that as an intention at the beginning here, but one of the ways that we do that with this yoga nidra practice is we inquire as we rest the body and begin to feel and invite a sense of safety, well-being, and ease. And that, by the way, is hard to come by for, for some of us, um, at some levels for all of us, I think. And so we know that we're practicing in community right now. There are other people doing this with us and that we're, we're going for that same sort of invitation towards, towards safety and well-being and um, just being able to relax into who we are. As we invite our body to do that and our minds, at the same time, we can begin to just look gently into our experience from this sort of nervous system down-regulated place. You know, when you're working on, maybe you have a, a challenging emotion or situation and when you're looking at it through the lens of stress and the lens of a body that's holding um, we see the answer through that lens and whatever insights that we have they're the there are best insights through a tight body and when we're able to rest and then inquire it's often the case in my experience and with people I've taught that these, there, the synthesis does happen where something that we're looking at gets a little more clear. Uh, our experience is a little more loved and our experience, our experience is a little more cared for. So when you don't have that sort of amygdala hijack going on where you're got your fear or flight center of your brain going, and you're able to just look um, with kindness at your experience, it's amazing what, what can happen. And I'll do that with you tonight. So I think it's important to say, as someone who's been practicing this for, you know, I, I think probably a good almost 15 years in this particular form that I'm teaching, I've been practicing and teaching for many, many years, that it's one of those unfolding dynamic meditation experiences where you're always at the edge of your own kind of horizontal understanding. And you can have deep insights along the way that, that break open your perhaps orientation to who you are or what the world is around you, or like deep insights that feel like they've changed you. But then here we are in each and every single moment still navigating our life. And so 
as the person that's guiding this, I'm also doing this inwardly. And it's something that is important to me to mention because I think we're all in the same, um, there isn't one of us, you know, that um, has more access to something um, than another of us. It's just, we, we, if we turn inward and look, we get to see what's here. So if we turn inward and we begin to see, oh, there's a lot of tension here actually, and I can't find any rest, then that's where we start. So the end goal isn't to be rested, but often in doing the practice, that is what happens. So I'll invite us into this practice now. And I'd love just to mention if you can have um, your video on or off and feel free to find a place that is comfortable and that you feel supported to go into just a deep state of relaxation. So you could be lying on a bed, you could be on a couch on your floor, um, on a yoga mat, you could be in any kind of a um, posture, including seated. Uh, it's usually practice lying down and I would recommend that. So let's just start there. So find yourself comfortable, supported. You might have your head elevated a little bit, maybe with a pillow. And if you do have another bolster to place underneath your knees, that can be helpful because we'll be here for probably about 40 minutes doing this practice. So get comfortable, get settled in. And wherever you are as you settle in right now, can you allow your shoulder blades to kind of come down your spine? And notice where your hands are lying, maybe, maybe on your chest and belly, your palms may be face down on the surface that you're resting on or face up. Just take a moment and notice where your hands are and check and see, is that comfortable? Now, as much as you can, we want to be able to settle into this position for the meditation, but always feel free to move. There's not a right way to do this. Let's start this practice with an intention. So what is it that brought you to this moment to listen to this meditation? What brought you here? So check in at, at your heart, just asking, what brings me here to this moment? It may come to you what the outcome is what it is that you're wanting. But can you also feel into that deeper sort of motivational desire behind what brought you here? See if there's a word for it, like love, curiosity, um, challenge, whatever it is, what, what's behind bringing you to this moment? As we settle into the meditation, begin to make contact with your breath. This is not trying to change it at all. We're just making contact, gentle contact with the flow of breath in and out. Bringing awareness to this meditative inquiry that this is something that we're exploring at the edge of our own understanding. There's no way this needs to look. This is ours personally. And we're also practicing in community. So we'll do some practices, a body scan, some breath work, and then we'll do some of this meditative inquiry and, and see what happens. But you may find that my voice is simply kind of a backdrop to you having a restful sleep going in and out of 
sort of waking and sleeping consciousness and it's totally fine if your body needs the rest it will take it and if you do remain alert for the practice then let the voice guide you but do your own inquiry if there's something else alive for you Okay, so we've begun with our intention. We can contact with our breathing as it flows in and out. So right from the beginning, inviting the body to rest, even in that gentle invitation you may do a scan from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet and notice where you're holding any unnecessary tension. What would it be like to relax? So you're inviting your body to release any tension that's unnecessary or any holding. Now, your body might not do so, but it's just an invitation. So as you breathe in and out, Maybe with the inhale up to the crown of the head, exhale, soles of the feet. Invitation is to rest, release attention into the surface that supports you. So we're exploring what deep rest feels like in our body and mind in this moment. It may be that you have thoughts coming that are taking your attention or you have a, a contraction in a certain part of your body. And if so, could you gently allow your attention to turn toward the thought or the feeling sensation? And with that gentle quality of awareness, allowing that to be here so much so that it may even release or relax. The first part of this practice will open the senses. So we're inviting the body not to grasp through seeing, hearing, but to be a receptivity. So begin with sound. Can you allow your whole body to be a receptivity to sound? The sound of your breathing, the sounds of the room that you're in, or if you're outside. The sound of my voice. It's as if your body is receiving the sound with no agenda to hold on. Continuing to make contact with the breath as it comes in and out. And the other senses too. So if your eyes are closed, noticing any colors or light or darkness across your eyelids. Forms, shapes. And as you open the sense of seeing, can you relax behind your eyes deeply? So you're undoing the grasping that can happen, the natural grasping behind the eyes to see. And you're allowing your body, in, in a sense, to be the seeing, you're becoming the sense of seeing, of hearing. Same with taste and smell. Senses are open.
And the sense of touch, notice where your body, can you feel where it meets the surface that supports you? Perhaps the back of your head, arms, back of your legs, heels. Noticing a sense of touch, maybe the air on your skin. Making contact with the breath as it comes in and out. All of the senses open now simultaneously. Being this seeing, hearing, tasting, smelling, feeling, breathing, being. Again, no need to control the breath. Just having a contact with your felt sense of the breath coming and going. You may notice a movement of thought, some emotion that may be present or a feeling in your body, an image, memory, judgment. Again, can you apply that practice of bringing this gentle, loving awareness toward whatever's here as you breathe in, breathe out? Feeling the space around whatever it is that you're noticing as you rest even further back you may begin to feel the entire back side of your body now back of your head your entire upper lower back back of your legs heels Begin to gently extend the exhalation. Just gently, so no forcing. You may notice that when your body begins to come to stillness, there's a lot that can start happening within you, within your mind. And so we're just welcoming whatever's here, holding it in this loving awareness, and gently bringing attention to the entire backside of your body in a lengthened exhalation. Inhale comes naturally. Breathing in and out the entire backside of your body. And we'll gently invite the whole body into awareness now with a body scan. So beginning with our jaw and ending in our feet. So as I name a body part, Simply just notice what sensation you may feel. So it doesn't have to look a particular way. Beginning with your jaw. <clears throat> when I name jaw, you may begin to notice if there's any tension or holding in your mouth or jaw. You can even move your jaw around a little bit. The invitation is to notice if there is tension 
and then to allow it to gently release and relax. So just taking that long pause, feeling your jaw and any tension. And then begin to feel the rest of your face. So your ears, your cheeks, your nose, eyes, forehead. Bring attention to both ears. Noticing what's present if I Sense both ears simultaneously. And then you can't think your way into this. So feel the inside and around both ears. You may begin to feel the felt sense of a holding or gripping. If so, could you feel all the way into the center of that holding tension? As you do so, it may open out into more spacious release. So this is subtle. Do so as well with the eyes, so your left eye, right eye. Let go of thinking your way, and you may visualize your eyes even, but can you feel your way into sensation behind both eyes? It may feel like a radiance, it may feel like nothing may feel tense. If you dive directly right into the center of the tension, if it's there, what happens? Just notice, inviting the body into rest. So resting behind and around your eyes, forehead, Staying connected to the in-breath and the out-breath. So noticing your breath as you bring attention behind both eyes. Take an inhale and then exhale. Allow your attention to sweep through back towards the back of your head, through the midline of your brain to the back of your head and then down to the back of your neck. And what do you notice? Perhaps a holding away from the surface that's supporting you in your neck or a softness, whatever's here. What's present in your neck? Can you relax, release into the surface that supports you even more than you are right now? Feeling now your entire head, neck. So 
And perhaps you feel a quality of spaciousness. So noticing maybe even an image of your head and neck. And then can you allow the image to dissipate? And what is the felt sense? This aliveness, radiance in your head and your neck. Just exploring what it is that you come upon. Bringing patience to the practice. If your mind gets busy, gently reorienting attention back to your body, allowing attention to slowly move towards your left shoulder. Take a few in and out breaths just in your left shoulder. And then on your next inhale, can you pause top of the inhale and then exhale slowly all the way down your left arm, all the way into your fingertips, to the space around the palm of your hand and your fingertips. Maybe on the in-breath, bringing energy and attention back up towards your left shoulder. On the out-breath, flowing energy and attention down your left arm, out your left fingertips, to the space around the palm of your hand. In and out. Inviting in those qualities of ease, of being safe in this moment. So you breathe in and breathe out. On your next inhale, as your energy and attention flow with the breath back up to your left shoulder, can you then bring your attention across to your right shoulder as you breathe in and out, sensing your right shoulder? Feels as if the body is breathing itself. Attention absorbed in your right shoulder. Noticing any subtlety of sensation, like a radiance or an openness or any holding. Noticing non-judgmentally what's here. On the next inhale, attention in the right shoulder, pause at the top of the inhale. And then exhale, flow with energy and breath all the way down your right arm into the palm of your left hand, into your, sorry, into your right hand, into your right fingertips. So on the inhale, coming back up your right arm to your right shoulder. And on the exhale, flow with energy and attention all the way down your right arm into the palm fingertips and space around the palm of your hand. So follow your breath in and out as you feel sensation in your right arm, right hand. Invite in a quality of ease. You may even begin to feel that your right arm, your arm is heavy, relaxed. Now draw attention across the midline back over to your left shoulder. 
And then exhale all the way down your left arm into the palm fingertips of your left hand. Feeling your left arm and hand heavy and relaxed as you breathe in and breathe out. Head and neck relaxed, heavy, cool forehead. We're gonna go back and forth a few times. So on your next inhale, draw your attention across the midline of your body back to your right shoulder, exhaling down your right arm to your fingertips, space around the palm of your hand, breathing in and out here. Right arm heavy, relaxed. At your own pace now, go back and forth. So inhaling to the opposite shoulder, exhaling down the arm and taking a few breaths with that arm and hand, heavy and relaxed. And then cross the midline again to the opposite shoulder, exhale down, take a few breaths in and out. So at your own pace, go back and forth from the right arm to the left arm. Letting your breath guide you. Inviting in the qualities of warmth, safety, ease, relaxation. Deep rest. Wherever you are, finish this exhalation. And then as you inhale, bring attention to both shoulders. Pause at the top of the inhale. Exhale all the way down both arms to the palm of both hands and the space around your fingers and fingertips. Inhaling and exhaling now. Since both arms simultaneously, heavy and relaxed, warm, no need to think your way through this, simply feel and breathe. Arms, hands, warm, relaxed, head and neck, shoulders, warm and relaxed. Cool forehead. Breathing gently in and out. As if you have a liquid like honey or molasses, bring attention with the breath to your torso. Start your upper chest and then can you allow your breath, exhale, to be like this nectar or honey feeling as you allow attention to slowly move down your torso from your upper chest and back down to your belly and low back. So breathe in and out and just notice this kind of slow molasses feeling of sensation through your entire torso. What is it that you come upon as you breathe in and out, sensing your torso flowing with energy and breath? There may be an emotional tone or a, some kind of attention, or it may feel spacious or empty. Any, anything's 
present is fine. There's no way this needs to look. We're bringing kind, loving attention to the body. What's here? So you're breathing in and out, energy and attention in the torso, and in the space around the torso. that visualization is resonant for you and continue to feel your whole torso just that kind of dripping nectar going all the way down warmth care safety ease qualities here breathing in breathing out Your whole torso, both arms, both hands, head and neck, face. Even if you come across challenging thoughts or judgments, can you welcome those to just allow them to be held in the space of this loving awareness, this invitation to rest, the mind to rest. It's okay. You don't need to consider this thought in this moment. It's okay to be here. The, the thought too can rest. Bringing attention now to your left hip. Breathe in and out for a few rounds, sensing only your left hip. Whatever's present, you may not feel anything. You may even feel something shift inside. Or a feeling of radiance, whatever's here. You welcome it just as it is. And then take an inhale, pausing at the top of the inhale with all of your attention in your left hip. Exhale all the way down the left leg to the sole of the feet, toes, and the space around your foot. perhaps allowing the inhale to come back up the leg to the left hip, and then to float down the leg all the way to the sole of the foot. Follow your own breath in to the hip, out to the sole of your foot. Again, perhaps your entire left leg and foot may feel heavy and relaxed. But there's some invitation of deep rest for this limb. Let go of holding, any subtle pockets of holding. On the next inhale, drawing attention across the midline of your body to the right hip. Breathing in and out, sensing your right hip. Again, you may feel subtle shifts, tension or spaciousness or nothing at all. It's all welcome. Take an inhalation, pause at the top of the inhale, sensing the right hip, and then exhale down your right leg all the way to the sole of your right foot, your right toes, the space around your foot. 
Inhaling energy and attention come back up the leg to the right hip. Exhaling down, sole of your foot, toes, space around your foot. So follow your own breath in and out. Entire movement of attention is solely in your right leg and right foot. You may feel right leg, right foot heavy and relaxed. Ease. I'm safe with myself. I can be here. Breathing in and out, right leg, right foot. Let's go back and forth now. So on the next inhale, allow attention to cross the midline to the left leg and foot, breathing in and out, left leg and foot. You may feel that warmth, heaviness, relaxation, ease. You may feel tension. You may feel shifts, your body even shifting as you do this. And then follow your own breath when it feels right. The next inhalation to the right hip and then exhaling right leg, right foot. Breathing in and out here. So follow your breath as it feels right. Moving from one leg and foot to the opposite leg and foot with your breath. Back and forth. You may have a picture of your legs in your mind's eye. That's fine. And then eventually maybe allowing that image to dissolve and feeling the felt sense of breath, energy and attention, left leg and then right leg, back and forth. Inviting your legs to relax as you do this breathing practice. Take an inhalation now, both hips. And exhale, both legs, both feet simultaneously. It may even be that same feeling of that nectar feeling moving down your legs into the soles of your feet. So the mind can't be on two objects at once easily. So drop thinking and simply feel both legs, both feet. Breath coming and going. Inviting your whole body now to relax deeply, legs, feet, torso, arms, hands, head, neck, cool forehead, body heavy and relaxed. Feeling the body naturally breathing now in and out. Inviting from head to toe the feeling of deep rest, letting any further subtle tension allow it to dissolve, release, be held. Feeling this holding presence like 
qualities of ease and well-being, love, whatever words come to you. Being held, cared for, connected. Just begin to notice this spirit of meditative self-inquiry, body inquiry, turning attention to the whole body. Noticing what emotions may be present or may have been present recently. They may appear before you as colors or images or shapes. They may resonate with a felt sense in your torso, neck, face, hands, feet. Exploring our inner experience, just at the horizon of what's present for us. So notice what emerges to you in this moment. A mood or emotional tone or an emotion that's here or that's been here just inviting that in for this process of integration just welcoming that in welcoming that to be here it could be joy it could be grief sadness confusion peace whatever's here Welcoming and feeling it as your whole body is like a receptivity to this that's here. Your whole body is a holding presence for this emotion if it's here. What if this emotion or color or shape or image, whatever it is, what if it were sort of absorbed or allowed in to the whole felt sense of your being right now? Allowed in to the holding, the safety, the ease, even just like a nectar itself that it would permeate, be allowed to be integrated and welcomed and met deeply by the body itself. No need for the mind to be involved, just welcoming with the body what's here, feeling it part of you. This is part of me. It's not something outside of me to refuse. It's in this moment, just being alchemized, integrated. No need for a story. If there's a story that comes, fine, let that be here. But the invitation here is inviting this emotion into the quality of deep rest that may be present. Being the wisdom of the body do its own work. Nectar of the emotion be absorbed by your own presence into the wholeness of who you are. Not if this isn't something to fight and struggle against, it's part of you in this moment. It's allowed, 
seen, welcomed. Same with any thoughts or mental images or constructs, doing that same thing. So there may be no mental images or thoughts right now, but if there are, if there's one that's present, it too, this challenging or happy, whatever it is, thought that's here, can this too be sort of absorbed by your own presence, welcomed, deeply allowed, not refused. Could be a, a thought about yourself, like, I feel sad or concerned or alone, or could be a thought about the world world isn't safe or okay, thought about someone else, whatever it is, this too, could you welcome in in that same way? It may come as a color, image, memory, may come as a sentence in your mind. But can you allow that thought, that mental construct to also just with that same kind of nectar feeling. Be welcomed into the totality of who you are. Not refused. Even if it doesn't make sense, even if it's not true. It's, it's this radical, the practice, that we're, we're radically welcoming all that's here. You allow your body to receive and integrate, meet, alchemize this thought, this construct. This is outside the mind, ironically. So this is a body practice, making contact with what's here, deep welcoming. As you do so, what do you notice? Bringing attention to your whole body now, your whole being. Crown of your head to the soles of your feet and this movement of leaning in and welcoming movements of emotion and thought, body sensations. Can you feel it's almost as if your body kind of fills itself out and in? embodying what's here, integrating. You may now sense your entire body as heavy and relaxed, resting, body breathing in, breathing out, warm, sensing your cool forehead, body heavy and relaxed, all is welcome. And saying beneath and behind this also qualities of holding, of ease, well-being. Even embedded into the space around you, that kind of holding presence. Allowing the body to feel what it feels, any energetic movements sensations. It's like the whole body is a 360 just presence right now. No need even for an image here, just feeling, being.
as we move toward closing the practice, bring attention to your heart. Be kind of at one with the feeling of the heart here, no matter what the feeling is. And inviting your essence, that deep joy, ease, to just shine right through and out of your heart. Maybe it's love or compassion, whatever word comes to you. Making contact with something that's an essential quality to who you are. Shining forth from your heart in this moment. Notice what word comes to you for that. Maybe an inner smile. Looking back through the whole practice now, from the inquiry and intention, the senses open to navigating breath and body, emotion, thought, joy, essence. Ask inwardly, is there anything I need to know right now? Is there anything important to be acknowledged in this moment before we close the meditation and just see what comes? It could be a memory, color, a thought. Is there anything I need to know or see or acknowledge right now? And we'll take four long exhalations to close the practice. So allowing the inhale to come naturally and then extending the exhale for four breaths. So we begin to close the practice, to reorient. Just let yourself take your time breathing out for four breaths. And then let go of, of controlling or lengthening the breath when you're finished with those breaths and feel yourself being here and breathing. And we'll begin to come out of the practice very slowly. So you may kind of clench your hands into fists and then release them. You may kind of move your toes, your feet a little bit, begin to stretch. And it feels right, gently drawing your knees in towards your chest or staying right where you are and, and going into a sleep. But if it feels right and you'd like to, you can draw your knees into your chest and then roll off to one side. And 
Allowing yourself to gently, slowly come back to eyes open, aware of the room, aware of community here, meditating together. So thank you for this practice and we'll close the formal practice now and then um, and then open it up for some reflections together.